Hi, Ray. Right, good session the other day. Hope you found it helpful. Regard the short shots, pitching and sort of 50, 60, 70 yard shots to the flag. We're looking to try and do now a setup is try and reduce the width of your stance. If it's too wide there, it's going to restrict that mobility through the golf ball and allow your body to rotate. So what you'll find in your arms are a lot of work and tend to pull your body around as we saw when you're doing this swing. The arms are a little bit out of control there, swinging through was a little bit too far. Couldn't really sort of control the movement as they came through. We also discussed the ball position as you could see here now on that left hand side being a little bit too far forward as a result of that when you came back to the golf ball we can see the club now bottoming out a little bit before the golf ball catching that golf ball slightly on the way up and that's obviously going to cause on the mat the club to bounce and as you said on the range sometimes when you play these sort of short shots you get quite a few shots where the ball just sort of goes off in a random direction purely because the club's bounced off the mat and changed the direction the club face is pointing so to adjust that setup, bring those feet a little bit narrower and also take that left foot and take it back a little bit. That'll just open up your hips a little bit more just to allow your body to rotate a little more effectively. And now with the feet being a little bit narrower, the ball positions we can see slightly more towards the centre. So with the swing now from here, we can use the body more effectively. The body can now lead the club into impact. So if you strike down the goal, it's more of a downward strike. Ball now we can see now is going up in the air. Good strike of the golf balls we can see, and then rotating the arms and body through together in a lot more synchronised manner. So you're controlling the swing of the arms, not just the arms swinging around your body and forcing your body to play catch up. So adjust that setup, just bring those feet close together, bring that lead foot back a little bit just to open up the hips slightly, and then just feel the body being a bit more dominant through the golf ball, just leading that club rather than your arms just sort of flailing and whipping through, doing all the work. So hope that helps. Any questions, obviously give me a shout, and I'll see you soon.